Hi, Greenlight the Day family. I am so glad to be able to speak with you. I am still um, reading through the book on the Motivation Manifesto by um, Brendan Burchard. I'm on declaration number three. Um, last time we talked about reclaiming our agenda and declaration number three is about defeating our demons. I really feel that this could be an all-day seminar, but I'm just going to do it as quickly as possible. Um, and so, you know, we, you know, I think of this group of the green light of the day as really helping me get through a lot of challenges in life. And I must say a year ago, there were so many things that I weren't, I wasn't aware of. And just having this sisterhood, um, with, with the green light of the day family has allowed me, uh, courage to look at my life and to make changes. And so I think we're kind of all there, right? And I'm going to start off just reading this paragraph. And perhaps you can pick out the things that have that are your demons, that are preventing you from leading um, your best life. It says, as we, as we gain greater presence and purpose in life, we become more attuned to our vitality and strength. We also become aware of the profound ways in which we limit ourselves. We come to realize that our thoughts, more so than our circumstances, sabotage our freedom and success. We are the ones who allow our insecurities and fears to grow into the tidal waves of worry that wash our dreams away. We are the ones who constantly delay our own progress, quitting just as the hour demands courageous action. We are the ones separating ourselves from others so that we needn't risk real connection or so that we can feel better than them. Wow. I mean, there are a couple of things in that paragraph that I know that I am dealing with. And um, I like that it talks about, yes, these are these are issues that we may have, but we can defeat our demons. Um, and, you know, I don't even like that term demon. I would probably say. Um, things that are not productive in my life or things that prevent me um, from achieving my best or a spirit that is overwhelming. I don't know. When I think of demon, I think of scary stuff. Anyway, um, so one of the things that I know that I deal with a lot is doubt. Like, what if this is going to look stupid? What if people aren't going to like what I do? Like I do art and I'm, and one of the things I'm going to do over this break from school is to finish up a couple of projects and put them out there, you know, just kind of showcase my work. And I know now, you know, uh, other artists struggle with the fact that, no, oh, it's not going to be good enough. I'm going to start over and do something else. Are you kidding me? Then you will always be starting over on something else. And I found that as I was getting closer to the end, everything that I needed was coming to me. And so the struggling um, with the doubt. And he talks about how do you um, slay doubt? And of course, uh, we say faith. Faith is the opposite of doubt. But I like the way he puts it, right? Because sometimes we get words that are so abstract. Faith, that is huge, right? But uh, uh, can we even break that down? I don't know. But this is what he says, what faith is. I believe in my ability to learn and figure things out. With enough focus, time, effort, and dedication, I believe I can learn to do what must be done and become who I must become to achieve my dreams. I can grab that, right? I can I can feel that. I can understand that because I can believe that what I need is going to come to me and that what I have is what I need and I can use this to achieve my dreams, right? It's not some abstract, huge word out there. And so I like the way he talks about that tonight in the stillness of magic and of the last hours, we can write all the reasons to believe in ourselves. Oh, I just love that. Okay, another thing that I, I deal with is, um, and I don't know why, but like procrastination, and he calls it delay. Um, and basically what delay does is just we find ways not to be active. We find anything to justify not doing what needs to be done. You know, and for me, for the oddest reason, um, I don't know what it is. It's just um, 
I do like enjoying good things and I don't know why. Do I have to delay them in order to feel that I uh, have earned them? Do I have to judge them first? And I love that he talks about that if we feel that our life is not progressing fast enough for us, are we delaying? Are we living in a life of insignificance? Then we can probably think of it as delay. But what we should do, the antidote to delay, of course, is action. When we take the initiative, despite the trumped up desires to wait it out in fear, when we can pick up the phone to make that important call, walk over the table to talk to that cute stranger, (laughs) and roll in that new course, take that risk, these things set off an internal tidal wave of power that subjugates our meeker impulses. I like that. I like. I really, really like that. And I and I and I'm noticing that that's so true. It's just that first step, not worrying about what's going to happen, but just taking that first step. So I would like to green light. Um, well, I'm going to talk about one more. Thing that one more spirit that we can defeat. Um, so I will, but I would like to green light this. I may have to stop here. I've been talking a while. Let's green light our day with this. Destiny turns its favor toward those who act, awarding them with success and a heroic recognition in life. So to all you heroes out there, because I know you're about to act at any moment now, I hope that this is a green light for your day. Talk to you later. Bye.